Good day, my fellow geographers, and welcome to the first episode of the Mapwork Calculations series. This series serves to simplify Mapwork calculations, and it will not only benefit grade 12 students, but also all other grades. The playlist will include short videos with each video aimed at simplifying each concept of Mapwork, and I hope we will make Mapwork calculations simple for you. So as you can see from the text, we will be illustrating how to calculate the actual distance, map distance, and hopefully we will clarify some of, some of the misconceptions that students tend to have. When we are calculating map distance, we are actually calculating the actual distance on the ground, right? So there's a measured distance, the one that you acquire by measuring using your ruler, right? So that is the measured distance. And then there's the actual distance. So the actual distance is the distance on the ground equivalent to that measured distance. Okay. Now this is the formula for measuring the actual distance and we will use a couple of examples to illustrate how you use this formula to calculate the actual distance. Right. In the next two pages I have a topographic map. Okay. So this is the topographic map, uh, the vector data map uh, made up of lines, polygons, points. And as you can see, I got this from stanmorephysics.com. So you can also get that map from that website. So this is a topographical map from Peter Marisbeck. And the 2930CB shows the map referencing, right? So you don't have to worry about that. We will discuss all of those concepts, terms, everything you need to know about map work and GIS in this channel. Okay. And on the top right, we have the map scale okay so that is the number scale that we use for topographical map in schools uh, the one is to 50,000 and this map scale means that one unit on the map or that you measure could be one centimeter on the map represents 50,000 centimeters okay so meaning which if I measure take my ruler and I measure one centimeter that actually represents 50,000 centimeters on the actual ground okay so that's what you write every time they ask you what does the map scale mean okay so enough about that let's get on to the calculations so i'm going to go back to um oh before that um, i also have an orthophoto map okay which is um, an example of raster data an orthophoto map as you can see it has its own map reference as well as its own map scale so i'm going to be using both of these maps to illustrate how you can calculate distance using any one of these maps so the question will be specific as to as to which map are you supposed to perform the calculations so let's talk about this formula so this formula as i said this is the measured distance this is the distance that you measure using your ruler and then the map scale will depend on the type of map okay so if i am calculating the actual distance using a topographical map then i'm going to use 50,000, right um, and then if I'm calculating the actual distance using the autophoto map, then I'm going to multiply my measured distance uh, by 10,000. Okay, so it really depends on the map. Okay, and then this is all divided by the conversion factor, right? So the conversion factor will depend and will depend on the question. Uh, do they want the actual distance in kilometers? Okay, so if they want the actual distance in kilometers, then the conversion factor will be 100,000. There is 100,000 centimeters in one kilometer, right? And then if they want the actual distance in meters, then you're going to substitute 100 on the conversion factor, which is your denominator. Okay, so you have to note these. You have to note the map scale. You have to note the conversion factor as well. Okay, so let's head on to this question, the first question. First question says, calculate the distance in kilometers. Okay, so in kilometers, so I have to note that. So that means that my conversion factor or my denominator in the formula will be 100,000. Calculate the distance from spot height 1124 in B2 to Trig Station 254 in block D5 in the topographical map first of all i'm going to 
Go ahead to the topographic map and look for the spot height 1124 in block B2. So let's go ahead and look for spot height 1124 in block B2. So these are all the blocks. So the rows are represented by your letters and then the columns are represented by the numbers. And so block B2 is the intersection of row B and column 2. Okay, so that means we're going to look at this block, right? So let's go ahead and zoom in there in that block. So we are looking for spot height 1124. I can already see that. So that is the spot height 1124. Okay, so that's my spot height 1124. So I'm measuring from this point. So I'm just going to write A and then to which point? Let's go back to the question. To Trig Station 254 in block D5. Trig Station 254 in block D5. So let's go ahead and look for the block first. So D5 is the intersection of row D and column 5. So we are referring to this block. So let's zoom in on that block. Uh, we are looking for Trig Station 254. And here we have two two six four. So I must have so I must have made a mistake there. So it should have been two six four. Okay. So let me go ahead and correct that. So it should have been two six four. Okay. Sorry about that. Let's go ahead. And so this is my other point. So this is point B. So now another misconception that students have is they is that they confuse the trig station number and the height of the trig station. So the trig station number will be written in bold like that and it will be right next to this triangle. And then the height, you will find the height below the triangle, okay? So I need you guys to know that, okay? So this is the height, okay? So this is always going to be in meters, right? Okay. And this is the number, trig station number. Right. So now let's go ahead and measure the distance. So now I have to ensure that when measuring the distance, my ruler should be placed right at the middle of this triangle. Right. So this is my point B, the center of the trigonometric station. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and take my ruler then and measure the distance. OK, remember we have to first get the measured distance and then multiply it by the map scale. So the map scale in this case has to be 50,000, right? Because we are using a topographic map and the topographic map has a map scale of 50,000. So we're going to multiply that measured distance by 50,000 and divide the answer by the conversion factor, which we said was 100,000. So we go ahead then and first get that measured distance. Right, so let me take out the ruler. Okay, so that's my ruler over there. And I want to ensure that I place it correctly in the correct orientation. Let me just zoom out a bit. Okay, so again, I want to measure from that A, from that 1124, from that spot height, that dot over there. Okay, all the way to the center of that trick station over there okay so let me align my ruler well okay so this is gonna be zero okay so that's gonna be zero over there and then i ensure that i orientate my ruler so that it passes through the center over there okay Hope you can see that. Let me just zoom in so that you can see so that is A and it is aligned with um, the spot height. Okay. And that is my B aligned with the center there. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to be accurate as possible here. Okay. There we go. Now I read, okay, from A to B. So what is the distance there? in centimeters so i'm going to zoom in at b so that i get a precise measurement okay so if this is 
9 and that is 9,5, right? And that is 10. Okay, so that's 9,5. This is 9,6. That is 9,7. That is 9,8. That is 9,9. Okay, so it's between 9,8 and 9,9. So I'm just going to say 9,85. Okay, over there. Okay, that's 9,85. Right, so that means my measured distance is 9,85 centimeters. Okay, I've measured that distance, and so I go back and first write down my formula. Actual distance is equal to the measured distance multiplied by the map scale, all divided by the conversion factor. Right, so I know my measured distance is 9,85 centimeters. I'm going to multiply 9,85 by, remember this is a topographical map, so the map scale is 1 is to 50,000. So I'm going to multiply that by 50,000. And so that, so this gives me the actual distance, but in centimeters. And so I have to divide the answer I get there by the conversion factor so that I convert that distance into kilometers. So I'm going to divide by 100,000, right? So that's 9,8. Multiply by 50,000, type that into a calculator, 9,8, multiply by 50,000, we get, yes, we get uh, 490,000, okay, so the numerator gives me 490,000, but I have to convert that to kilometers, that is, yes, the actual ground, but it is still in centimeters, so convert that by dividing by 100,000. So 490,000, my answer, 490,000 divided by 100,000. And that gives me 4,9. Okay, so that means the actual distance from that A to B, it's 4,9 watt kilometers. So ensure that you write your SI units at the end. So that is... Um, the actual, that's how I calculate the actual distance. You need to note a lot of things. You need to note the type of map that you're using so that you use the correct map scale. And you also need to note uh, the conversion factor, which is going to depend on the question. So I hope that was clear, okay? Right, so let's head on to the next question, which is our last question. Calculate the distance uh, in meters. So meters that will affect our conversion factor, right? So if we want to calculate this in meters, that means our denominator will be 100. So we have you have to note all of those from number 7 to number 4 in the orthophoto map. Okay, so let's go on ahead and take a look at the orthophoto map from number 7 to number 4. And another thing is the orthophoto map, right? So the orthophoto map has a different scale. So we're going to use a different scale. Auto photo map has a scale of 1 is to 10,000. So we'll go there. Let's go there. Look for number 7 to number 4. Right. So there's a lot of numbers here. So there's number 7. And yes, there's number 4. Okay. I hope you can see that there's number 7. And there's number 4. Okay. Where they point. I want to calculate that distance now. I'm going to use the ruler again to calculate the measured distance. Okay, take out my ruler and align it with where they are pointing. So that's going to be my start point. And it's going to be my A. And that is going to be my B. Okay, where they are pointing. So my B, I'm going to rotate my ruler. Okay, that's fairly correct. Um, okay, so my 4. Let me just adjust that a bit. Okay, there we go. Right, so let's um, go ahead and read um, at number 4. So that is from 0 to number 4. Okay, so that is 4,5. And this is 5. And it's actually in between um, 5 and 5,1. That's 5,1, right? Okay, so that means it's 5,05. Okay, now you need to be uh, very precise. But of course, they have a range when they... Are marking the exams so they are not too harsh 
So that's 5,05. That is our measured distance. Now let's first uh, write down our formula. Actual distance is equal to measured distance multiplied by map scale all divided by the conversion factor. Right. So now my measured distance is 5,05 centimeters. And then my map scale, okay, because I'm using an orthophoto map, so I'm going to multiply by 10,000. Okay, and whatever answer I get there, I'm just going to divide that by the conversion factor. We decided that the conversion factor is 100 because, well, we need to calculate this in meters. So divide by all divided by 100. Start off with the numerator. Okay, so I prefer to be careful than sorry. So I'm going to start with the numerator which is 5,05, and then divide all of that by the denominator. I'm just going to lower this calculator. So we're saying it's 5,05. Then we're multiplying that with 10,000. And then we get 50,500 centimeters. Okay. Then... All of that is going, that answer is going to be divided by 100. So go again to my calculator. 50,500 divided by 100. 505 watt meters. Okay. So that means the actual distance uh, from number 4 um, to, from number 7 to number 4. Okay. If I were to walk from number 7 to number 4, from this point to that point, I would have walked 505 meters. Okay, hope that was made simple. See you in the next one.